before there could be a nation, there had to be people willing to fight for it, to take on the world's greatest challenges, whatever they might be. So the U.S. Army masters not only tactics and strategy, but also physics and chemistry. We make battle plans and create... Queen Mattress Set, now just $13.49, or $63 bucks a month for 24 months. Only at Value City Furniture. We are back at M&T Bank Stadium. It is halftime of the State 4A Championship. You saw Howard coming out, really fired up with that hurricane flag. But look at this. Wise came onto the field like a blue wave, and that's the way this game has gone from the outset. Malik Anderson early on with a big gain, and that's pretty much the offensive highlight of the first half, Doug, because from then on, it was all wise. All the humans, they stepped up just like this. They took it on and just started running with the ball. But, you know, the score doesn't indicate the game. Howard's been in here playing tough, and that you know, done some real stuff, tried to fake punt, tried all wild trickeration stuff, the throwback to the quarterback and all those things. They've called a good game offensively. The problem is they're just overmatched. Physically. Three plays in a row here from Carlton Rainey Walla. He has shown up very big for Wise. Gruyere, aged Gouda together with Swiss Greer fondue and Wendy's new bacon fondue fries. Cheese finally has its day. They say the path chosen today prepares leaders for tomorrow. So I chose academics, excellence, and a diverse culture. My choice was clear. I am a graduate of Morgan State University. Did you know that Morgan State University has educated more than half of the African-American engineers, educators, and healthcare professionals in Maryland? At the height of the action, confidence soars. In the midst of the struggle, character emerges. In the heat of competition, leaders are forged. High school athletics are an essential part of a well-rounded education. They may not involve classrooms, textbooks, or final exams, but rather provide the perfect environment to give young men and women the tools to be successful in the biggest game of all, the game of life. High school athletics, pure spirit, pure sport, pure Maryland. The three of us all want the same thing. To see the Flash dead. What makes you think you can stop him this time? Three against one. Ho, ho, ho. What do you say, speed freak? You wanna roast chestnuts? Time for a real war on Christmas. Oh, yeah. It's official. <laughs> Tuesday at 8 on The CW Baltimore. There's the Henry A. Wise Band on the field. They are very, very happy, and rightly so. Their team leading Howard 34 to nothing at halftime of the state 4A championship. Welcome back to M&T Bank Stadium. This is the Wendy's Halftime Report. Joining me now on my right is Rick Borchers, the COO of Davco, the, the uh, area Wendy's franchisee. Rick, we're going to get to you in a minute because I want to introduce our really special guest, Seneca Friend from Longreach High School. Now, Wendy's does a high school Heisman. Ten finalists from across the U.S., and one of them is right here, Seneca Friend. you got to be awfully proud to be in that group. Of course I'm proud. I'm a great opportunity to be here, and I'm very excited. The one thing that this high school Heisman wants to prove is that athletes can have brains, too. You're in the National Honor Society, you're a math whiz, and you're a living embodiment, I think, of what they're trying to get across. Oh, yeah, that's uh, quite a flattering statement, but I would say, yeah, that's pretty true. Athletes, I think, definitely can have brains as well, and I... Uh, I, I hope to exemplify that through what I do every day. Is the dumb jock stereotype kind of going away? Definitely, I think so. <laughs> now, let me ask you something, Rick Borchers. You know, you're a, a big proponent of the Wendy's High School Heisman. We've yep. talked about this before. Yeah, really. When you see someone this outstanding emerge, uh, you've got to really feel warm, I would think, about that. You know, it's not every year that we have a high school uh, finalist. In the, you know, there's only 10 kids out of 30 to 40,000 entries, and that gets pared down to nine, 900 state finalists, 102 state winners. That's a special group right there. But now you get down to five females, five males, 
that's a special group. The thing that impressed me so much about Wendy's year in and year out, it's one thing to buy a couple of commercials and to throw a little bit of money at something, but you guys at Wendy's, you go deeper than that. Now, there's all sorts of things you do to support youth, and you really believe in it. That's true. Um, you know, we believe in supporting families and children. One of the ways we do that is by supporting the uh, Maryland Public Secondary School Athletic Association. Of course, the Wendy's Heisman program is sponsored by Wendy's International. We're just fortunate to be able to have a finalist in our market. And, you know, the other thing that we do with families is our uh, key tag program. Right. Um, we started that program five years ago. It's very simple. We sell a key tag to our customers for one dollar. The entire year, all 365 days, you can come into our restaurant, get a free six ounce Frosty with any purchase. I mean, for one dollar, that's great. That's a great value. But the most important thing is that sev more than 75 cents of that dollar goes to St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Outstanding. And w this past year, I believe our total was 585,000. Our five-year total is 2.8 million, and we're really looking to get to about three and a half to four million dollars next year, which will equate to about two days running the hospital. Those are impressive numbers. They are, and you know, again, it, we have to give thanks to our customers who come in and they'll they'll purchase that dollar. We support that by giving away about 40,000 free frosties every week. So it's a popular program, and I'd like to encourage everyone in the Baltimore, Washington area to, to come in and you know support the program by buying a uh, frosted key tag. Let me say one other thing. Sure. This is not a national program. This is a program just in the Baltimore, Washington metropolitan area, Northern Virginia. So the folks in this area should feel real proud of what we do for that hospital. Do you have your key tag? I sure do. <laughs> <laughs> one more question for you. There are 10 finalists. It's one thing to be a finalist, but man, would you like to win this thing? Of course. Everyone's dream is to win. So uh, next weekend will be Heisman weekend. So I'll be going up to New York to the dinner and we'll see who the winner will be. You're an impressive young lady. Thanks for being with us. Thanks for having me. All right, Rick, and always a pleasure to see you and all the good folks at Wendy's. Keep Wendy's in mind. They help bring you these high school football championships. We'll be back with more from M&T Bank Stadium and the state 4A championship. Stick around, everybody. Like 0% APR financing on the reliable Camry. Did you know 90% of Camry sold in the last 10 years are still on the road today? But hurry, our biggest event of the year won't last long. Now lease a Camry for only $179 a month or buy one with $1,250 cash back from Toyota or take no interest financing for five years plus $500 toward your down payment. Make the holidays happier at Toyotathon. Toyota, let's go places. The challenges facing the country never stop. So neither does the U.S. Army. We train, adapt, and get smarter. Every soldier, every unit, every day. Not to keep up with change, but to drive it. Nobody knows what problems tomorrow will bring, but we do know who will solve them. Jackson, inviting students to celebrate their heroes by participating in the 28th annual Champions of Courage essay competition. Salute your positive role model who's keeping Dr. King's dream alive. Winners present their essays on Fox 45, CW Baltimore, and My TV, and receive cash awards and school prizes. For details, log on to foxbaltimore.com and tell us about your Champions of Courage. At the height of the action, confidence soars. In the midst of the struggle, character emerges. In the heat of competition, leaders are forged. High school athletics are an essential part of a well-rounded education. They may not involve classrooms, textbooks, or final exams, but rather provide the perfect environment to give young men and women the tools to be successful in the biggest game of all, the game of life. High school athletics, pure spirit, pure sport, pure Maryland. At this school, Bacon was the star, but Gouda and Greer knew they could make a difference. Watch it, cheese. All they needed was a chance. How about Gouda and Greer? I may be crazy, but Gouda, Greer, we're going to give you guys a shot. What? 
bacon with cheese? Wendy's new Gouda bacon cheeseburger. Aged Gouda together with Swiss Greer fondue and Wendy's new bacon fondue fries. Cheese finally has its day. Back at M&T Bank Stadium, it is halftime of the state 4A football championship. And as you can see, this one has been all Henry A. Wise out of Upper Marlboro and PG County. They lead Howard 34 to nothing here at M&T Bank Stadium. You're looking uh, in the background there at the Howard Band as they perform at halftime. Earlier, we saw the Henry A. Wise Band and the Puma mascot, Wally. You were particularly a fan of his. Well, you know, this is definitely two different performances, I can tell you that. Okay, that, that Puma, well, that Puma <laughs> was really going at it. Let's go downstairs to Jed Gamber. Hey, Bruce. Hey, guys. Thanks so much. I'm here with Dr. Kevin Maxwell, the superintendent for Prince George's County Schools. Am I right about that? That's correct. And right behind us, right here we have the uh, pride of Prince George's tonight, Wise. What do you think about that first half performance? Hey, they, uh, they really turned it on tonight. I mean, they're a great team. Howard's a great team, too. I mean, they both come tonight 13-0. And, uh, you know, we've just had the lucky breaks tonight for the most part. I mean, we had a couple of, uh, you know, things go against us late in the second half. But, I mean, the second quarter. But... You know, we, we really turned it on tonight, and, and they look good. You know, the uh, uh, I think the guys are really playing hard. They're really excited to be here tonight, and, and I think, uh, you know, if things go the way they've been going in the first half, we, we should come out ahead here tonight. Talk a little bit about the excitement of being here at M&T Bank Stadium, the Ravens Stadium. You know, I mean, you guys are from Redskins country, but still an NFL stadium nonetheless. Yeah, so, you know, I, uh, my uh, actually my daughter and and, uh, and now son-in-law went to Towson in the in the Baltimore area. And, and I, you know, I, I pretty much grew up in the state, so I'm, I'm familiar with, uh, you know, both teams. And I worked for a while in Ann Arundel as well, which is really pretty much the Baltimore uh, region. Uh, but it, it's really exciting, I think, for the kids to have an opportunity to play in an NFL stadium. It, it really says to them, you know, that's sort of the ultimate sports dream for kids is to play as a professional athlete. And to be here, uh, you know, where the, the Ravens have such a, a great storied history, it's really an opportunity of a lifetime for some of them. They, they may never be back in a, in a professional athletic uh, arena, whether it's a football field or a basketball court or a baseball field. And so for them to have that opportunity is really, really exciting for them. A lot of people don't realize that, that this may be the last time that some of these kids play football, period, organized football. Yeah, I mean, you know, kids will, you know, you know, the kids that are graduating will go on to, you know, colleges or the military or wherever it is that they go. And, and uh, yeah, whether they can play at the next level if they try or whether they decide, you know, they had their fun and, you know, they're going to, you know, do something else. I mean, that's that's opportunities for them. But absolutely, this may be the, the last night that some of these kids suit up in a football uniform. Really? You're looking at Hayes with 59, Wolfbuck with 14, Clark with 25. They're just moving the ball, spreading it all over and maintaining control. Wally, what do you see? You know, I'm, I'm looking at this passing game. I've only seen four completions for, for, uh, for 17 yards in the first half by Howard. I think that's something that they're going to have to get going. Look, you have a receiver that can catch. What? Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, you have a receiver with a 30-yard average here in, in, in Cameron Carlisle. We have to get him going to see him get down. Let's go downstairs to Jed Gamber. Jed. Coach, uh, you know, tough first half for you guys. You know, you almost had a break there at the end of the first half. What's it take to get back in this game? Well, you know, we we, we, we just have to uh, start playing football. I mean, I think we got caught up in the bright lights a little bit. Um, we haven't played to our ability. And you, and you can't play da down when you play a team like this. I mean, they're an extremely good team. Um, but we haven't played a Howard football yet. The mentality you guys in the halftime, how'd you guys, you know, try to get them back up? What'd you say to them? Um, we'll have football, and, and uh, we're going to put our best foot forward. These guys, uh, they've got a lot of talent. How do you try to keep, put a cap on them? You know, we, we just got to play team defense um, and team offense. It, it's what we've done all year. Um, we don't rely on, on an individual. And uh, when we play together, we're pretty damn good. Coach, good luck in the second half. Thank you. Appreciate that. Well, we'll be back for the second half, 34 to nothing as we start the second half of play. We'll be right back right after this. Toyotathon. Wrap up a great year-end deal on a reliable Toyota, like 0% APR financing on many of our most popular models. And every new Toyota comes with a two years or 25,000 miles no-cost maintenance plan. Now lease a RAV4 for only $199 a month. 
or buy one with $750 cash back from Toyota. Or save big with no interest financing for five years. Make the holidays happier at Toyotathon. Uh-oh. <laughs> Toyota, let's go places. Before there could be a nation. Strength to work for us. Protecting women from domestic violence. Taking on the NRA. Rejecting Wall Street's cash. Powerful interests don't want Democrat Donna Edwards. That's a powerful reason why we do. Women Vote is responsible for the content of this advertising. band Europe, you love a final countdown. It's what you do. If you want to save 15% or more on car insurance, you switch to Geico. It's what you do. The 2015 MPSSAA High School Football Championship Game is brought to you by Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Baltimore area Toyota dealers. Toyota, let's go places. Wendy's, delicious value meals every day, all day at participating Wendy's and Morgan State University. We are back with the second half here at M&T Bank Stadium. Wise leading this game 34 to nothing, and they will receive the kickoff. Wally, if you're Howard right now, what are you trying to do? Look, you're, you're trying to make something happen. You don't care what. We need to see these guys running downfield, trying to rip the ball out of the player's hands any chance they get. So get up on the defender. Rip the ball out. We need to see turnovers, and we need to see some aggressive play throughout this second half. Miles Wolfick fielded that one at the 10 and returned it to the 31, and that is where Wise will go to work. Doug, if you're Wise, you're going to kind of want to start stomping on him right now, aren't you? Well, I think what you're going to see here is Wise getting real physical. You know, I, 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 it could be that they come out in trips and double wide and all that stuff, but I think what they're going to do is just go back and right now it's all about the clock. Sure, they're way ahead, but this is a second-half game, and they want to look as good in the second half as they did in the first. So they're going to come out and show their athleticism and make things happen with the football. Now, the other thing to consider here, and Maryland, as uh, Scott pointed out in the first half, in Maryland, 35-point lead, the cl it becomes a running clock situation. So certainly I think Wise would be interested in making that happen. Well, they they do want to do that in a way, but these you know these coaches they love playing football and they're playing as well as they can play. They like to play for about four hours tonight. And we've got a whistle to start the second half. Yeah, why well, can't have another team come in? Delay of game, offense. Uncharacteristic. How does that happen, Doug? Um, play comes in late, uh, formation change or something like that. I was looking at my notes, so I really can't tell you. But I'll tell you this: he's not happy. <laughs> yeah. Go on, oh baby. I, I saw him go nuclear two years ago here. You know, he, 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 that's yeah. Coach Face, Wally. Oh, you know yeah. all about oh, Coach Face. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 It would, it, it, never satisfied. <laughs> never satisfied till it's over. It, here's what they like to be in, just like this. So, nothing special right up to the 30 yard line. Going to make up most of that penalty. Geico, saving people money on more than just car insurance. See how much you could save today. Now, Wally broke in under Bill Belichick, who might be the master of the coach face. Uh, yes, and it's always interesting and fun to hear uh, since those times in Cleveland and, and all those years, nothing has really changed <laughs> with him and his demeanor and his, his post-game interviews, all those things. They are the exact same as they were during those Cleveland days, so he hasn't changed at all. I would imagine sitting in his office one-on-one -on -one probably isn't a pleasant experience. It's definitely a place you don't want to be. <laughs> Carl Moraney <laughs> going around the left side, crosses the 30. Hey, Howard's playing tough now. They come out in a good pursuit. You know, I, I thought it was very interesting here when we started the second half. We heard the coaches talk. And, and we talked about this big stage and, and how it being here for the first time. And it was something that Coach Strunk actually said that his team maybe they were they were caught off by, by the big stage those blue jerseys and those big bodies inside those blue jerseys yeah. what people don't understand if you're the defensive front score down for howard and that guy come up in there when the blue team comes off the block it, it's hard to see where the ball is i mean jamari law is looking downfield look at that that was tip excellent play there by uh, dylan perez for howard and at the because he had a wide open receiver, Perez came out of nowhere and knocked that one down. Well, he said play. earlier it's a game of inches, you know, three more inches he had. 
So Howard does what they wanted to do. They stop wise on their first possession. And, and this is the first three and out I think we've seen, you know, so far this game that that Howard defense has been able to put out there. So uh, this is the game plan. Settle down, guys. Play football. We are here for a reason. We're undefeated also. We get back into our type of game. Maybe we can cut it to this door and make this thing close to the second half. So Kofi Yaboa, who's also the kicker, will punt this one away. And Malik Anderson awaits downfield. Kind of a line drive. Yeah, Anderson Malik's chasing to catch it. it on one bounce, but he better get away from it. Yeah, he's getting away from it. And look at that roll. Mm -hmm. That's going to be down at about the nine-yard line, and that's where Howard will go to work. They just can't catch a break, guys. I mean, yeah, it's just a yeah. tough night. For him. Yeah, I, I think after that one bounce, you got to pick that thing up at a certain and stop that roll and try to make something happen. Well, you saw the you saw the wise kicks just struggling. You'll put two back. You never let the ball hit the ground. Right. You know, do not let that ball hit the ground. Nothing good happens on a punt when the ball hits the ground. So Wise in total control of this one, 34 to nothing, 10-21 to go in uh, the third quarter. We are just underway. Bruce Cunningham, Wally Williams, Coach Doug Duvall, and Jed Gamber bringing you the State 4A championship. So, he, again, here comes Howard. Casey Crawford at quarterback. The give to Malik Anderson. He goes up the middle, and Anderson will cross the 10-yard line, get out to about the 13. I, I want that, Scott. Scott, when, 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 the, the, when they're putting the ball on the field they're, they're ball, I see they're they're putting a certain distance outside of the hash marks because in high school football and pro football the hash marks are a little different so how do you measure that without them being on the field so uh, great question Wally I don't know if the camera can catch it but in the back of each end zone there are pylons that represent the high school hash mm -hmm. and that's what they're referencing when they set the ball down that's 53 feet out the uh, pro hash is 70 feet out so it's a big difference Little slant route across the middle and in and out of the hands of Cameron Carlisle, and that will bring up third down. Well, there's one place you don't want to go against Wise, and that's across the middle to catch that ball. They were kind to that child that time. Oh. Hey, Wise has, coming into the game, they had 39 sacks. You know, so if you're the quarterback, you know, nice loft up, but right there could have been 23 just eased up on him, let him catch that ball. I think Casey Crawford could probably tell you all about why he's a sack ability by yeah. this point. Like yeah, that, yeah. Is, that is an incredible number. Yes, yes. Well, he is. That denial, Shelton, the outside linebacker. They fake it to Malik, go down the sideline, hangs it up there, and some very good defense. Well, wait a minute, there's a flag on the play. And that's going to be on Miles Wolfolk, and it'll be the second time they've gotten him tonight. He bumped a little bit too much on that one. You know, and but that was a great play call. They're getting ready to queue up that replay. We'll get a look at it as James Boyd huddles with his officials. Here's the call, pass interference, and that goes against Wise. Here's a look at the replay. Guys, walk me through this. And Casey Crawford took a shot back there just to get the ball out. Look at that shot he took to the ground and get the ball out there. The contact at the end. Pass interference. The Defense, 15-yard penalty. Results in the first down. Scott Balsick, what did we see there? Uh, one of the key elements that the official saw that really caused that flag to come out was the defender was not playing the ball. Mm -hmm. And in uh, high school football, it really at all levels, if you're not playing the ball, your acceptable behavior window goes way down. And we see a lot of that. We see a lot of guys not turning and finding the ball and see a lot of calls. So just turn and find the ball and see where it is. So that results in a first down at the 28-yard line. They give it to Malik Anderson. He gets out to the 29, so that's a gain of one, bring up second and nine. Donnell Lowry came in, closed it up. You know, the, the thing is, the three linebackers, you know, they just play like crazy. Gamble, you know, the Mavericks in there playing like crazy. Donnell playing like crazy. John Daka. I mean, it's tough to deal with those guys. Good look there at Kevin Claxton Jones as he gets ready. Uh, stick around for rain on the CW Baltimore right after tonight's game, followed by America's Top Model. The CW is rain and America's Top Model in their entirety after the game tonight. Now, that is beautiful, but unfortunately, yeah, that's, that's an ineligible that. receiver. Yeah, that's complete to uh, Sage Gagarin. <laughs> well, he was, the, he was the right tackle. He completely missed the guy, and the quarterback says, I don't want it. You take it. Well, he you had to get, get me killed. He had to get rid of it. Yeah. 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 So, uh, big memory for old Sage, but it's not legal. Well, it would be good if he was wearing an 80 number and they'd gone on balance or something. I thought that's what it was. That child's got to get a little bit quicker step on it. Offense. Whoops. <laughs> every every O-lineman's dream right here. Yeah, man. He did a nice job. Catch, Catch it. He did. He did. Up the field. 
Get what you can. Get your shoulders low. Get down low on 57. Oh. <laughs> I'll tell you what, he's had his hands full. That defensive end, you know, he's, a, he's just a... He's Legal a, touching offense also carries a loss of down. Oh, so that's big. Well, that, that's really tough, but, you know, John Donka, where is he going? New Hampshire, is that what we said? Number seven? No, Madison. Right. He's yes. tough. You yes. look at that kid lined up out there, and you got to try and block him at the right tackle. Get drop step with that right foot, get your head up, and get part of him. He did it that time much better. Complete to Malik Anderson, and a really nice tackle. Stepping up to make the play for Wise was Maverick Gamble. And that, that, uh, that was huge, and now Howard's got to punt it away. Remember now, Wise one point away from the running clock. Their linebackers are something special. Just so quick, Wallet. Quick, quick. Uh, you know, I I've been impressed with the team speed the entire game. And, and uh, you know, the these guys, I mean, you, you look at this game, and, and we talk about this at the beginning of the game, both teams are undefeated. Yeah. Okay, one, one and two in that division in the state. And Wise is just, you know, athletically sound at every position. They've showed up tonight. Gillespie with a great punt. It's fielded by Miles Wolfolk back at the 36-yard line. He heads upfield and runs right into the grasp of Brian Fitzgerald Jr. for Howard. And Wise will go to work. It looks like about 47-yard line. Saw number 81 put a little pressure. 47 fights off the block there. Very and nice job. That was great play. That was by Brian job. Fitzgerald. And, yep. uh, and no, actually, that's uh, Connor Williams. Connor Williams. Yep. He's the one got called earlier in the game for impeding in that area. See, but while he's, he's been going all over the field. The lesson we learned last night, Doug clued me in. And for these playoff games, you bring up your younger guys, and you see a lot of duplicate numbers. And so oh, what yeah. you got to do when you look at duplicate numbers, go with the upperclassmen. And I oh, went right, with the freshman right. on that one. So right. we're straight now. <laughs> so here comes uh, the wise Pumas. They're trying to draw one more man out in coverage. They're not getting it, so they're just going to throw it. Go they're out, to, yeah, yeah, Michael Clark. You get two over three, you know they're throwing it. Oh, 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 oh. What's he doing? Oh, he broke oh. the tackle. Look at this. Oh. Plenty of room to run. Oh. That's going to be a 53-yard touchdown when, by rights, they had him down. You know, if you get an instant <laughs> replay, have Coach Long on the sideline on the sideline because he looked like he was about to jump out and strangle that child, and all of a sudden he starts jumping up here. If you can get it on replay, Yikes. I'd pay for that. What a play. Wow. Let's wow. see if he catches the sideline. Never run back to the inside. Watch this. Good thing he took it for a touchdown because he'd be in deep duty to come up <laughs> going away home. And it looked momentarily like Stephen McNair was going to have him, but he came out of the grass. And look at McNair just looking on helplessly. Well, number 54, that's a long way to get out to the side. You know what I mean? Yep. He's been hustling all night long. That, my player for Howard tonight is McNair. He's now, really done a good Scott, job. Scott, if I saw that correctly, that was a lateral backwards on, on that particular play. Am I correct? You are correct. <laughs> and uh, had that uh, been dropped, that would have been a live ball. Wow. Just, you know, tremendous athletes on that wise uh, team right now and that's what we see every chance to get opportunity to show the athletic ability we've seen that every opportunity tonight 41 to nothing wise that's our wendy's combo play 41 to nothing at this point and that brings up uh, the running clock situation let's take a look at it one more time turns it back to the middle of the field looks like he's done <laughs> mcnair grabs him that's <laughs> athletic gets out of that and goes we're going to take a break with a score 41 to nothing. Wise over Howard in the state 4 a championship. We'll explain this running clock business when we come back. Stick around. At this school, Bacon was the star, but Gouda and Greer knew they could make a difference. Watch it, cheese. All they needed was a chance. Oh, Gouda and Gruyere. I may be crazy, but Gouda, Gruyere, we're going to give you guys a shot. What? Bacon with cheese? Wendy's new Gouda Bacon Cheeseburger. Aged Gouda together with Swiss Greer fondue and Wendy's new bacon fondue fries. Cheese finally has its day. They say that Pat's Chosen Today prepares leaders for tomorrow. So I chose academics, excellence, and a diverse culture. My choice is clear. I am a graduate of Morgan State University. You know 
revealed that Morgan State University has educated more than half of the African American engineers, educators, and healthcare professionals in Maryland. The holidays are here, and so is Toyotathon. Wrap up a great year-end deal on a reliable Toyota, like 0% APR financing on many of our most popular models. And every new Toyota comes with a two years or 25,000 miles no-cost maintenance plan. Be one of the first to get a completely redesigned Tacoma and lease one for as low as $259 a month. Or lease a full-size Tundra for only $329 a month. Make the holidays happier at Toyotathon. Uh-oh. <laughs> Toyota, let's go places. CountySportsZone.com is very off. It was touched early, and it's still bouncing around. Howard finally picks it up at the 20-yard line, picks up a block, and look at this, still on his feet. Okay, that is Bryson Craven. Good effort. And we've got a flag at the end of the play, but you're right, Doug, an excellent effort there by Craven. And let's see what this call's about. You know, while we're trying to figure it out, uh, DeLon Parrish called me this week and asked me would I please say something about Coach Nick Lynch and all the people in PG County. He was the uh, godfather of coaches down there when DeLon first went down. He said he taught him about the landscape in PG. So, team blocking the back. Man, I'm just telling you, it is just all going we'll wrong for Howard right now. It, it, it is. And I want to give a quick shout out to my buddy out there in PG yeah. County, Tim Jacobs, a little teammate of mine from Cleveland and Miami Dolphins there, who's watching this game and texting me his critique right now. So he's supporting his uh, his wise Pumas <laughs> out there right now. So good looking out, Tim. And we also saw Coach Van Dusen from River Hill in the first Yes, he, he was uh, down at stance. And Tom Grunberg, his longtime defensive coordinator and outstanding offensive They won a few coach. games at River Hill. And they won a pile of them. And I think they won four state championships. I know they won three. Ravens fans will at Michael Campanero's high school. Yes, sir. So there you go. They go to Malik Anderson. That's Anderson where they need to be. crosses the 10. And look at the defense from Wise. Once uh, again, they just stop them. You know, Bruce, I'm glad old Maverick missed that one. You know, I'd like to see Howard get a little something going here and get a little downfield motion. Trying to draw that single coverage. Here's oh, just a little high. Yeah, that pass was intended for uh, for uh, Tanner Skyfe. And getting there and making the play for Wise. You're looking at him right there. That is Michael Clark. And, and they, it's just nothing's working. Nothing's yeah. working. There's no way to put it nicely, and it, it's a shame. Thank you to all of our broadcast sponsors, Geico, Toyota, Wendy's, and Morgan State University. They make it possible for us to bring you this football championship game live on the CW Baltimore. Here's something you never want to see, Doug. A guy punting out of his own end zone. Michael Gillespie's had a big night. Well, he's, or a busy night. Yeah, he's had to do a lot of punting. And they're bringing the heat every time. I mean, they're trying to break the break the seam in there. And Wise has got those out. He was just trying too hard. From the 46, that was Miles Wolfolk, and he just lost his footing. Hey, that was athletic just to catch that ball in the air. You know, if he let that ball hit the ground, who knows? Maybe the 30-yard line was starting from it. Wolfolk has uh, uh, developed quite a limp coming off the field. Might want to get Jed Gamber over there to take a look at that to see exactly what's wrong. Uh, Wolfolk, a very good player, and uh, he would definitely be missed. So we'll, uh, we'll check with Jed on that a little bit later. There he goes to the sideline. And, and to kind of go on Doug's point there to cast that ball, you know, me being an old punter, when you kick that ball in the air and it doesn't totally turn over, his ball is a nice spiral. Doesn't totally turn over, so it's kind of fading back into the player field, back toward the punter. And it's very hard for any guy to make any kind of adjustment on the ball when it's coming back, actually toward where the punter was kicking the ball. Well, so. DeLon's got the tight end in the game now, so you're going to see just what's happening here. You're going to see four yards, five yards. And that's exactly you know? Carlton Rainey picked up four yards. And, Doug, they're running for an obvious reason. They're just trying to get the clock hey, going and win hey, this game. They just, wanna, they just want to bring this to an end and celebrate. Uh, they've been here and won and been here and lost. So... They know what it's like, and and uh, DeLon loves Howard High School. He, you know, but he's got a new home now. He's got to be a little bit torn by. Oh, this. he is. Well, he was the real deal at Howard High School. He was all that, you know, and and uh, you know, I I, rem I remember when Jim Caldwell, the coach at the Lions now, who was at Penn State, recruited him down to Wake Forest. Let's go down to Jed Gamber on the sidelines with an injury update. Yeah, it looks like Miles Wolfolk. He's just stretching something out. He's smiling. And shaking hands with his teammates. He's drinking something. Might be a little dehydration. He's look, he looks fine. It's easy to smile when it's 41 to nothing, exactly. huh, Jim? <laughs> <laughs> unless, unless you're Coach Parrish. You know, right. he, 
he, you know, he won't be happy till it's over. Third and one now from the 36. We're going to start seeing some unfamiliar numbers in this game as the clock continues to run. We're at a minute 20 now. And there's the handoff there.